This video tutorial is provided by the College of Graduate Studies at UCF. In this video, I will review requirements for formatting tables, provide an example of what a properly formatted table looks like, and demonstrate how to implement these settings in an existing ETD. Tables should be placed within the document as close as possible to the text referring to them, or they may be collected within an appendix. A table should not interrupt a line of text. If a table does not fit on a page, you may insert a page break and move it to a new page. If necessary, turn the page to landscape orientation. If the table continues over multiple pages, whether in landscape or portrait orientation, repeat the header row for each page. Do not repeat the title or mark the table as continued. Each table must have a number and descriptive title above it. Any source note should be placed below the table and ensure there is adequate and consistent spacing separating the table from the body text. Within the sample ETD, you can see a properly formatted table. From the list of tables, there is a link to Table 1. The label is placed above the table with the number and descriptive title aligned with the left margin. Source notes are placed below the table and are single spaced as table text. This video will show you how to use the caption style to create a linked and auto numbered table. As it is not always practical to recreate tables in Word, this tutorial will also demonstrate how to insert a previously made table from Excel. It will also cover how to create a table in Word. To insert a table in Excel, first highlight the table, copy it, and then return to your Word document. With the cursor placed where you want the table to appear, choose the Paste option from the Home tab and select Paste Special. Word gives you the option to paste an Excel object. This allows you to edit the table if needed without making the changes in Excel and reinserting it into the document. If you wish to create your table in Word, go to the Insert tab and click Table. From this menu, you can select the number of rows and columns and insert them within the document. Regardless of whether you have inserted a table through Excel or Word, position the cursor above the table and go to the References tab of the ribbon. Select Insert Caption, change the label from Figure to Table, and the caption label should now read Table 1. Click OK and Table 1 will appear in your document. With your cursor placed after the number 1, type the title of the table. When you insert a caption, Word generates the caption style automatically. The caption style will keep track of table numbers and keep them in sequential order. If you insert a table caption above this one, Word will automatically renumber both tables. This also allows Word to automatically generate the list of tables. To update the table caption, highlight the number, right click, and choose Update Field. You can now modify this style by right clicking on Caption under the Home tab and then making your edits. Because it is based on the normal style, it should retain the font used for body text. However, it may be in a different color and font size. You may also change the line spacing to single spaced for table text and titles. Click OK to return to your document. If you need to place notes below the table, place the cursor below the table and type in the notes just as you would any other text in the document. If you need to break a table across a page, you will need to repeat the header row. 
Because Excel tables are inserted as objects, these tables will not break across pages. You will need to create multiple objects from your table in Excel with each object containing the header row and then insert these tables into Word. With a table created in Word, you can format the table to repeat the header row automatically. Right click on the table and select Table Properties. Click the Rows tab. You can use the Next Row and Previous Row buttons to select the appropriate header row. You should see the option to repeat as header row at the top of each page. Check this box to repeat the row and continue the table. If the table does not fit on the page, you can also go to the Page Layout menu and change the page orientation to Landscape. You can view the video tutorial on page orientation to see how section breaks are used to turn one page to landscape or custom page size while keeping the rest of the document in portrait. This concludes the video tutorial for tables. If you have any further questions, please use the Format Help section of the Thesis and Dissertation Services site. You may also refer to the PDF instruction file, Figures and Tables. Please review the list of tables instruction file to learn how to create a linked list of table titles. For more video tutorials, please return to the Graduate Thesis and Dissertation web course.